Hi, I'm Mr. Foster, and I am going to share with you a story that I have loved since I was six years old, way back in the 1900s. I brought along Stand Back, Said the Elephant, I'm Going to Sneeze, by Patricia Thomas. Stand Back, Said the Elephant, I'm Going to Sneeze, illustrated by Wallace Tripp. Stand back, said the elephant. I'm going to sneeze. I hate to alarm you, but I don't wish to harm you. My friends, I fear it's clear. Oh, dear. You'd better stand back. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, no, oh, no, cried the buffalo. You're so big and so strong, and your trunk is so long. Your sneezes send everyone flying along, bumping and thumping down pathway and trail, bouncing and jouncing head over tail. Tumbling and bumbling, your sneeze is a gale or a hurricane. I hate to complain, but please don't sneeze. No, no, please don't sneeze, cried the monkeys in the trees. You make such a breeze when you sneeze. The last time you blew us right out of the trees. The branches began to bend and to sway, and some of us landed so far away, we didn't get back to the very next day. The leaves all went whirling and tumbling and swirling, and the flowers shook for hours the last time you sneezed. Even a cough would knock some of us off. Oh, please don't sneeze. <laughs> With a shriek, the parrot opened his beak. Squawk! The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, elephant, please! cried the birds in the trees. The last time you sneeze, we lost every feather. We didn't know whether we'd ever get put back together. Every parakeet was bare as a sheet from his head to his feet. What's more, all the whales had peacock's tails. And the wings of the cockatoo were stuck on the kangaroo. We, you must confess, it was quite a mess. Very confusing and not too amusing. Even a snuffle makes our feathers ruffle. Oh, please don't sneeze. Fly, fly, called the birds to the bees. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, no, buzzed the bees. Not a sneeze, not a sneeze. The last time he blew off our stings and our wings, and we had to make do with rose thorns and glue. Furthermore, what a shock. We all had to walk on our knees, if you please, and that's hard on bees' knees. While our wings grew back in, what a sin. Oh, please don't sneeze. Beware, beware, called the bees to the bear. The elephant says he's going to sneeze. Oh, please not to sneeze, said the bear. That's not fair. I declare, the last time he sneezed, he blew off all of my hair and left me so bare, I spent the whole winter in long underwear. Nothing so sad as a bear that is bare. The poor giraffe, don't laugh, almost bent in half, and the alligator's snout was turned inside out. A sniff or a snuff is bad enough, but a sneeze? Oh, please don't sneeze. I don't suppose you could hold your nose or wait a while, asked the crocodile with a sad little smile. Oh my, do try, said the fly. We wish, said the fish. You would if you could. The last time you blew off all of our scales from our heads to our tails, and our gills got the chills. Our skin is so thin. If you do it again, we'll freeze. Oh, please don't sneeze. The zebra yelled, Yipes! You'll blow off my stripes, plus lots and lots of the leopard spots, and all of the snakes will be tied up in knots. The hippopotamus said, A lot of us will fall right on our bottomus if you sneeze, so please don't sneeze. I'm sorry, my friends, said the elephant sadly. About all of this I do feel quite badly. If I could keep from sneezing, I'd do it gladly. But I have such a twitch in my trunk, and an itch, plus a bit of a tickle, and even a prickle. You must run, fly, and hop. I'm afraid I can't stop. I would if I could, but there's nothing to do. Ah, 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 boo! Shouted a little gray mouse jumping out of his house. He stood right up on his little tiptoes, stuck out his tongue, and wiggled his nose. Eek! Shouted the elephant jumping up in the air. That's a mouse! That's a mouse standing there! I must hide in a tree before he gets me, or jump in the lake. Oh, for goodness sake, don't scare me. Please spare me. The mouse laughed. Oh, Pooh, now what can I do? A little thing like me to a big thing like you? I only wanted to give you a scare, and it worked as sure as you're standing there. Elephant, think about it, please. You completely forgot to sneeze. Well, what do you know? Laughed the elephant. <laughs> That's so. It's astounding, confounding, as I live and breathe. I don't think I really have to sneeze. He began to giggle. <laughs> That's the funniest thing that has happened to me. <laughs> the elephant shook from his head to his toe. He ho-hoed and ha-hawed. He giggled and guffawed. He chortled and chuckled until his knees buckled. He sat down and rolled from side to side. In fact, the elephant laughed till he cried. 
He laughed till the ground was shivering and shaking and all of the trees were quivering and quaking. The monkeys came tumbling out of the trees and the stings fell off every one of the bees. The bird's feathers went flying to goodness knows where and all of the hair fell off of the bear. The giraffe bent in half and the alligator's snout turned inside out. The fish lost their scales from their heads to their tails. The zebra yelled, yipes, there go my stripes. And the hippo went thump right on his, well, you know what. And into a puddle, a mouse went kerplop. Then he sat up and shouted, this simply must stop. We're terribly glad you don't have to sneeze, but if you must laugh, laugh softly. Oh, elephant, please. The end.